Hi, I'm Garrett Demeyer from Royal Constrictor Designs. It's time for another 2017 uh, hatching update here. We've got a lot of uh, really cool things that have been hatching out recently and I'd like to share a few of them with you. The first ones that I have here are a couple of albino bamboos. These guys, it's really hard to see in this lighting in here, um, the actual colors, but they're like a nice pale yellow with an even paler yellowish whitish colored pattern. Um, I took these outside, not these exact snakes, but some albino bamboos that I hatched out earlier uh, in the year. I took outside and uh, you, the colors just kind of exploded on them. They just look so nice. So it'll be interesting to see what these look like. This one does not want to sit still. Um, it'll be interesting to see what these look like as they grow up. I'm going to probably keep a pair of them and I have several more that I'm going to be selling. And I also just produced um, an albino bamboo pinstripe and he will be for sale as well. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda get through these quickly so this video doesn't run 20 minutes like most of mine do. This next clutch here, these are some of the babies from a Hypo Super Enchi Pastel bred to a Hypo Mojave Champagne. There was a Hypo Enchi Pastavi in this clutch too, but I figured I would just show these guys. These are all Hypo, Pastel, Enchi Champagnes, and I think some of them are at least are Mojave's as well. Still think there's quite a bit to be done with the Champagne gene. They're just, these things are just really, really cool. The yellow is super intense on them. Got a little bit of uh, lavenders in them and just a lot of, a lot of cool colors. And also Champagnes tend to come out uh, with paradoxing pretty frequently. Uh, you can see some some regular or more typical pattern on this one right here. I just really like working with the champagne, especially when you add NG into it. That just it does so much more to the pattern. Regular champagnes are you know pretty patternless animals. They have a little pattern, but not that much. But NG just makes that pattern go nuts. Okay, so, ooh, snappy little guy. Babies tend to be kind of high strung, especially when you're taking them out and shooting videos. They like to bite at that time. <clears throat> okay, this next clutch is from a GHI Lesser to a Queen Bee. A couple of nice little blue-eyed leucistics here. And here's another one. And then I have this GHI uh, spider. I think that's a lesser spider, GHI. So just some more nice little white snakes. Very popular. Um, I actually sold one of them already once people found out that I had some of these hatching. So one of these three is gone or will be gone when it starts eating. Okay. Let's see what's next in here. This next group is from a pastel coral glow pied bred to a pied. I got two pastel pieds. This one's extremely low white. Actually, I really haven't gotten a good look at these until right now shooting this video. That's a pretty low white pied. This one's also very low white. So those are pastel pieds. Okay, and then the others from that clutch. Here is a really nice coral glow pied. And here's a pastel coral glow pied. Another pastel coral glow pied. And one more. I have one of these guys sold too. These are all males. Um, one out of these three are sold. I'm not sure which one right now, but um, I'll have the other ones up for sale soon.
So yeah, this was the entire clutch then. Love doing visual pied to visual pied clutch. I mean, the worst thing I got out of this was a pastel pied. You know, that's a pretty amazing clutch, and uh, repeat that a few times and um, and get my pied selection up for this year. Okay, put these guys back in their tub. I have to set these up later today in individual tubs and get them to start feeding within the next week. Okay, and then I think my 2017 clown, or my 2017 updates would not be complete without some clowns. Here's a little clown. And a little pastel clown. And I also have in that clutch two pastel banana clowns. Really produced a lot of pastel banana clowns this year. They're probably my, well, I mean a lot by saying like six or seven of them, I think. I guess that's not really a lot, but it's a lot compared to any other year that I've been producing them. Then he also got some hats too, with this guy right here, and these two females right here too. So, not too bad of a clutch. Okay, and then I have another clown clutch to show you. Okay, this clutch was produced from a pastavi clown to a black pastel het clown. So the first one here, the black pastel Mojave het clown. Second is a black pewter het clown. And the third one is a Pastel Clown, really interesting colors on that one, tons of blushing through there. Then this one is a Pastavi Clown. And then there's this guy right here, girl I should say. This is one of my favorite snakes that I've hatched out this year. Black Pastel Mojave Clown. I just love that snake. I think there's so much potential with that. Of course, you know, me being, you know, trying to stay on the cutting edge of breeding as much as possible, I, you know, I can look at an animal and appreciate it, but I can also, my mind instantly goes to what can I do to make that even better? So I gotta do some thinking on that. It's a female, so it's not like a, it's a male that I can put with, you know, four or five different types of clown females to see which types look the best. Um, it's a female, so I have to kind of choose the male for her really carefully. And, of course, that's not going to be until you know, probably three years from now when she's finally ready to breed. But I just think that it's just such a cool snake. I love that nice, smooth head. No pattern on the head, really. I was hoping to make more of these this year, but unfortunately this is my only one. I think I'm out of chances to produce them. So we'll have to see what happens next year. I just couldn't have been more happy with how this one turned out. Okay, I think that is all I'm going to show for today. So um, you can see which snakes I actually have available for sale, which there's a lot of them. I probably have uh, between 350 and 400 individual snakes on my website. I've also got a complete price list that has everything I have available on there. I try to keep that as updated as I can, I usually updated about once a week. 
Um, so I'll be putting more snakes on the website. I'm hoping tomorrow to shoot pictures of maybe 50 to 60 new snakes to get on the website. So uh, you can always check there for updates. Make sure to look at my new arrivals page. That's where all the brand new stuff goes for at least a few weeks before they go on to their regular category pages. So uh, make sure to check that out at royalconstrictordesigns.com. Also make sure to like us on Facebook. I've shown a lot of the stuff on Facebook already and I always show stuff on there uh, whenever I get a chance. So make sure to check that out as well. Otherwise, uh, just tune in for next time. I'll have a lot more. Got a lot more eggs incubating back there. So uh, have a lot more things to show you this year.